was a night of surprises at the 91st Academy Awards with major upsets in two of the biggest categories. And CBS News' Cara Finstrom is live in Hollywood with the highlights and some controversy, Cara. Always got to have a little bit of both. A huge show, and you can see the cleanup uh, still underway behind us here in Hollywood. Last night's show, a little different right out of the gate. There were no hosts, so the ladies of SNL kicked it off. Good evening, and welcome to the one millionth Academy Awards. We are not your hosts, but we're going to stand here a little too long so that the people who get USA Today tomorrow will think that we hosted. <laughs> In the Lady Gaga, Bradley Cooper, electric there, performing Shallow, which took Best Original Song. The night's top honors, though, went to Green Book. In addition to Best Picture, it won three other Oscars. Other big wins, Olivia Colman took Best Actress for playing Queen Anne in The Favorite. She gave a nod to Glenn Close, who has now been nominated seven times with no wins. Rami Malek won the Oscar for his portrayal of Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody, Best Actor, and Spike Lee took home his first Oscar. The 2020 presidential election is around the corner. Let's all mobilize. Let's all be on the right side of history. Make the, make the moral choice between love versus hate. Let's do the right thing. Spike won for Black Klansman, Best Adapted Screenplay, and his political commentary about the upcoming election has already gotten reaction from the president. Take a look. President Trump tweeting this morning, be nice if Spike Lee could write his, read his notes, or better yet, not have to use notes at all when doing his racist hit on your president, who has done more for African Americans than almost any other president. Lots of activity all over social media this morning, Suzanne Peter. Most of it has to do, though, about Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper and that chemistry between them with that song. Mm -hmm.